paper crafters this is Colette. Today I want to introduce you to a beautiful set of cut and foil dies by Couture Creations. It's the lavish ballroom collection and these are just a few of the dies that are available. So we have the hydrangea, we have the gorgeous uh, ball gown, we have the beautiful rose corner, the gorgeous carriage and of course the um, lovely young stems. So these are some of the great dies and let's face it we all love tools that make our life simple and these dies just do that because they cut and foil all in one go. How cool is that? So let me just show you a little card that I have created um, and that we will be making today in our video and this is the card here and you can see it's very lavish, just two, car, two color palette, white and gold. It doesn't get more lavish than that. And you can see I've used the actual ball gown as my feature element. When we open this card up, inside we just have our sentiments. And of course, all the papers that I've used in this project are from Control Creations. And can you see just the foiling on this one here? It is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna tell you where you can get this from and um, what this is called later on in the video. So this is the project we're going to make today and I'm going to spend a little bit of time showing you how to use these really cool dies from Couture Creations. So let's get started. So I have here the ball gown cut and foil die. I have some lovely gold foil and it's um, got this little tag on it. So these are great tags from Couture Creations. They don't remove the foil and they are tacky enough to keep them all nice and neat in your drawer. So if you haven't got these yet, go hunt for them. They're pretty good. So um, I'm just going to release my foil. You can see it hasn't taken away the actual foil itself. And I'm just going to pop my die down on here. That will be fine. And I, I don't tend to use scissors, I just get my craft knife, hold it taut to start it off with, and then just press this through. All right, so that's my um, bit of foil ready. I might as well just chop off that little bit there. These little scraps I keep in a bowl for later, and there's lots of projects and things that you can do with these. So that's for another time, another video. I'm gonna grab my machine now, my Go Press and Foil machine. So here we go. Just zoom this out. All right. So what we need to do is when you're using these um, cut and foil dies, you do need to have this special adapter. This is an adapter that is designed to go with these. And what I'm going to do is to take my beautiful die and I'm going to place that rough side or texture side up. And then I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to place that on top with the foil side down, just like that. And then I'm going to grab some paper and I'm just going to use some white cardstock. And I have to say, even if you use black cardstock, it looks amazingly gorgeous. So you don't always go to white, but for this project, I do want to use the white. So that's going to go on top like that. That's fine. And I'm going to seal this down. At the moment it's flashing red. And when this turns to green, that dye will be heated up nice. Okay, so it's turned green, so it's ready to go. So I'm just going to pull this off. And I am going to run this whole platform through my go press. So I go cut and emboss machine. My favourite little machine, it's pretty cool this one. So I'm just going to run that through. Okay. Let's take a little look. So here we have my lovely ball down all beautifully cut. Isn't that great? Can you see her? Now, let me show you something. So you have a couple of choices. So I'm going to zoom this in. Isn't she gorgeous? 
Look at the detail on her dress. Can you see that? So you'll notice that she is totally gold. Isn't that beautiful? So I can use her like this and um, take out that centerpiece. Um, but what I wanted to do was to actually use her with a little bit less gold. Can you see? Here she is with a little bit less gold. Here she is with more. So all you have to do is you take your beautiful um, die and you grab some tweezers. Now the tweezers that come with your um, machine are perfectly great to use. So I'm just going to grab one of the corners here. So I pull that up, which is great. And now I'm just going to peel this top layer off. Now there are some delicate pieces here. Her hands are very fine. So I want to try and keep those if I can. So I need to be a little bit careful. I don't want to behead her either. Okay. Fabulous. So now what I've got is I have two images and I can use both of these on two different cards. So this one, obviously I've used on the card I've created today. And this one I'm going to use on another project. Now, keep watching. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create this card. I'm going to speed it up and you can see me make another one of this little card that I've done. And then I'm, I'm going to show you a cool little technique later on with what you can do with this.
cool little technique for using the actual leftover foiled films that you've peeled away from your dies. Um, so what we've got, we've actually heated up, or hopefully we'll heat up very shortly, the uh, go press and foil machine. And I've got the thick metal shim in here, the one that you use with these particular dies. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down face up and I have a piece of paper so I want to position this so I can eyeball that nice and straight and I have a piece of paper that I've cut to size and that's going to go down as well. Now this will really depend on your machine how many shims of paper you might need so I'm just going to put one in and then I'm going to put another and if I find that this doesn't go through my machine enough or it's too tight, I will take one away and see what happens. So you do need to experiment just a little bit. Just leave on here for about 30 seconds just to heat up and then I'm going to grab my um, embossing machine and then we're going to run that through and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so just rolling it through. And it feels too tight, so I'm going to take one away. I'll just leave the one through. I'm rolling that through now. And go nice and slowly. And I'm going to go back again. Because what I want to do is I want to transfer that beautiful foil onto the paper. Done. So can you see what I've got here? That design has now transferred beautifully onto this piece of paper. So I can use that like that for another project or I can go one step further still. Okay, zooming in. All right. So what I can actually do here is I can grab a pair of tweezers and I can take away this top film and that by doing that it's going to make it even more shimmery. Can you see there's like a film that I'm pulling away now? So by seeing that, can you actually see the design? So how it's beautiful shimmery, it's now on that paper, so I can actually now use that on another card. So that's another technique that you can do with leftovers. So there you have my lovely card using the Couture Creations Lavish Ballroom Cut and Foil Dies. The actual carriage, I think, would look also beautiful for a wedding card. Um, and I've just cut this little guy here. This is one of the um, stems and um, look how gorgeous that is. So I'm going to be creating a card very soon with this. And when I peeled off the top layer, I was left with this. So many beautiful options for this little guy and its little partner. And wouldn't they look lovely together? I think so. So that could be another project very soon. Um, now, uh, one other quick little tip. You know, sometimes when you get your dyes, they, when you peel them off, they can be a little bit sticky. And if you don't have any of that anti-stick stuff, what I tend to do is I always have my craft and a bit of talc. All you do is you just rub talc and powder on them and they don't become sticky anymore. And they're perfectly great to go ahead and use. So, so I hope you've liked my cards. Um, my name's Colette. Now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel channel. I'm actually thrilled to have over 10,000 followers now and um, I love hearing from you. You always leave me lots of comments so thank you for that and please do me a big big favor. Please share this YouTube video for me. So you just click down below where the subscribe button is or just further down from that and um, share this for me. So thank you so much guys and I will see you next time. Bye for now.